Hello and welcome to the show. Today I have a mini challenge on Project Cars. Oh, lots of fire! So I saw this one suggested. Uh, people wanted to see me uh, give this a go. I'm going to try and drive a Ford GT40, as you can see here. I can't quite show you uh, <laughs> from the front. I'm going to try and drive one of these in a thunderstorm. I'm going to show you the track first, though, that I selected. It took me a little bit of time. I didn't want to use the same tracks I always drive. God, that fire looks cool. Haha! <laughs> I am a fire breathing car. Vroom. Vroom. No? Fine. Don't do it. Um. Right, we'll go back to. I can't drive on this game in any other view other than cockpit now. Uh, the track I've picked is Zolder. It's one I've never. I haven't driven before in a video. I spent a bit of time getting the hang of this circuit uh, with this car, so I know kind of uh, what I'm doing with it in the dry at least. I have no clue what it's going to be like when it comes to a thunderstorm. Let's go out of the pit lane. The first, I guess, it's kind of one long corner. Um, Oh, I have to say, that's technically that's a second corner. Don't like that corner. The rest of the track, though, I do quite like. This is a this is a fun track to drive around. I really quite enjoy racing here. And um, again, that third corner there can be a little bit of a pain. The rest of the track, though, I know I know pretty damn well. Uh, we put the brakes on just to come underneath the bridge, get a stopped for a nasty chicane. The curbs are horrible. Uh, <laughs> I said at one point the grid was very very good with how the cars react to the curb. Project Cars, also very good, the way the vehicles react to bumpy curves. Scary, almost flat out corner, sometimes you have to lift uh, through there if your car gets a little bit of a slide on into another tight chicane. Again, got to be careful on the curves, easy on the power through here. As the, this is a GT40, it will like to go sideways. A little bit of a lift, I can't quite. Uh, sometimes if you get the line just right, you've got nice warm tyres to flat out through that first part. A little bit of a jump uh, <laughs> over there as we come up towards a hairpin, again heavy on the brakes, might have braked a tiny bit early but uh, I, I don't mind that too much, again easy on the back, <laughs> back of the car is twitching a little bit, this is not the easiest of cars to drive, I do like it though, it's a nice car to drive coming up towards another chicane, we'll brake at the 100 meter board uh, get it slowed for a slightly, slightly wider chicane perhaps through here, again easy on the power on the <laughs> exit of that corner, then it is across the line uh, as I said, the first corner here can actually be a little bit tricky. Uh, occasionally I have trouble judging quite where I am on this one. Taking a bit too much speed into this many a time and ended up playing in the sand. Uh, that's that's much better line through here. This next corner, uh, the second corner I came out to the pit lane on, is a funny one this one. It starts off quite easy and then it tightens up and you can sort of keep the steering through this next part as well. That's a nasty corner. Of all the corners that one there would be my least favourite but the rest of the track uh, yeah, <laughs> I like it. I like driving around here. I'm actually okay with this, as I say that, I fall off the road. I'm okay with the GT40 around here. I kind of know how to drive this circuit with this car. I know where the braking points are and uh, what I should be doing with the vehicle. However, that is in the dry. In the dry, yeah, I'm pretty good here. In the wet, who bloody knows what uh, I'm go <laughs> going to be faced with. I'm going to just back out of here. And then we will head, we will set it to a thunderstorm. You get to look at the gorgeous lightning uh, that attacks the circuit while I am driving. Somewhere we click through here, thunderstorm. There we go. Got to see, that's my that's my time. In fact, actually I have the car record for this. I'm probably the only one to driven the GT40 around here. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my time with the car. See what sort of time I can set uh, compared to that. Uh, in a thunderstorm. Now, I should probably point out now, I'm, this game is of course still in development. The weather effects, I'm not sure, they have a little bit of a funny effect on the vehicles at the moment. I'm just going to quickly turn the autopilot off so we get control of our vehicle. It's slightly raining indoors, don't worry. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Um, yeah, I have no clue what to really expect from this. I mean, it's going to be tough driving this car. Is oh lots of lightning already attacking everything. Thor is on his way. Um, okay, at the moment we seem okay, but I think that's because the pit lane isn't really affected other than visually um, at the moment. Yeah, we're fine through here. I just went flat out. Um, okay, this is where things are about to get scary. Basically, uh, this normally there is a nice dry line that I want to stay on as best as I can. Uh, woo, hoo, 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 dear. That's uh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this bit that's not got the puddles on. I like this bit. Can we stay on the... Whoa, okay. Uh, where's my lights? There's my lights. Oh, bloody hell. It's just driving on ice. We've spun it around in a circle. Um, 
Okay, recover, recover, recover. Now, actually just setting off in the first place, I've had a few problems with in the past when I've been messing about with cars in the wet weather. Be gentle, sort of lightly use the throttle. I should probably go up a gear. Okay, we're on a straight bit. No, we're not. No, we're not. We can't do straight bits. We've gone around in a circle again. Um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> God damn, this is a tough thing to drive in the wet. It's literally you're just driving on ice. You, you get a little bit of wheel spin over one of the puddles, and you are gone, and there is bugger all you can do about it. Okay, into the corner, right? Over the curb, over the curb, we're fine. We're not pointing the wrong direction. Up the hill. I'm guessing this bit here is probably not going to be flat out. I mean, it's scary flat out in the drive through here. It's not... Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's certainly not flat out. Uh, I would say that much. God, the car wants to kill me! I, I like you, car. I like the track. Please don't. Please be kind. Okay, I'm kind of getting a... I was say kind of vaguely getting a feel. It's okay. I'm guessing this is going to be a flat-out corner as well. Is it? No. I uh, didn't get any airtime. Woo. It wanted to get away from me again as we come into the hairpin. Ooh, this is a scary car. <laughs> <laughs> this is a scary car in the dryer, it can be. Not the most sophisticated of racing vehicles, as I'm sure you can imagine. I am flat out in a thunderstorm in a Ford GT40, now I probably should get on the brakes. Uh, please stop. Please stop. Okay, we're, we're pretty good under braking. I, I, I think we can uh, we can get away with that. It's just getting the power down out of these low speed corners is where the car wants to go. No, no, no. Behave yourself, Ford. We are... <laughs> we've got round a lap. Uh, okay, let's see if we can do the next lap without spinning. And oh, good God, I had no control over that. It's just, I've got to put the foot down. I put my foot down, <laughs> and it's just aquaplying into a wall, and I can do bugger all about it. Yeah, I. <laughs> that was well. I mean, it was my fault, I guess. But uh, I had no control of the car there. Uh, that was a very big slide that I would really rather have not been doing. This is, um, this is not easy. I didn't expect it to be easy, to be honest. This is a... Uh, oh, this is ridiculous. Come on, car. But I may have knocked my microphone. Sorry if the audio goes a bit funny there. Um, I should point out, I'm driving this on a steering wheel. If you hear odd clicky noise... I always forget to say that at the start of these videos. If you hear odd clicky noises in the background, that's me changing gears or the steering wheel making funny noises. Just please stop going sideways. I don't know why I expect it to listen. No, nope, that's aquaplaned again. Oh, come on. The wall, off the grass. Grass is bad, grass is bad. Distract the audience with lightning, please, so they can't see that I have very, very little control of a, <laughs> of a quite a powerful, not the most powerful vehicle. I'm not sure how much power this racing version of the GT40 would have had. Um, I'm going to hazard a guess, sort of 450. God, oh, that's a big lightning strike. Yeah, that sounds about right for a cut for this sort of a this sort of a car. Not the most powerful vehicle I could have picked for this, but dear God, is it a pain! <laughs> Yeah, Thor is on his way. There's definitely there's some huge lightning going on. The weather effects on here are really very cool. I would love to see snow. Snow would be awesome fun for this game. <laughs> oh, I would love to try and drive a Formula One car in the snow. How amazing would that be? And someone drove a Formula Formula car once. Someone drove an open wheeled car around the Nurburgring in the snow. I remember seeing the video of that. Uh, but a Formula One car actually they did. I felt drove a Formula One car in the snow once. Where did I see that? He drove it on a lake in probably Canada. I'm not sure. He drove it on a frozen... Was it a frozen lake? No, it wasn't a frozen... I can't remember. Somebody drove a four-wheeler one car on the snow anyway. And I want to do that in a video game. That would be great fun. Or, or any one of these silly vehicles that shouldn't be driven <laughs> on the snow. Okay. We, I kind of, like, the second part of that lap's not so bad. I can kind of do it. It's this opening section, which is the part of the track I struggle to learn. Uh, first time round is a little bit of a pain. Oh god, we've just aquaplaned across the line. <laughs> okay, there is a lot of, well, there's a lot of standing water everywhere. There is little bits of car have fallen off. I just aquaplaned. The minute I go across that line, I'm guessing this is one of the few places I'm picking up any speed, because it's a vague bit of straight. And I'm just hitting something. Oh, hitting enough speed to save it. Oh god, that is a, that's not a, <laughs> that's not an angle I want my car to be at. Come on. Just sort of coaxes it around this first sort of few corners. Oh, we're understeering. We're, uh, I'm trying to be gentle on the steering and then I'm not getting enough steering, but if I'm only more vigorous with it uh, or if I try to take a tighter, tighter angle, that's just wheel spun instantly. The minute I try to put any power down. Um, well, I found a new part of the track. I'm not supposed to be over here, am I? 
Look, don't worry, I've not crashed. I'm just making sandcastles in the rain. It's like an English summer holiday. Um, come on, get back on the road. There we go. Right, what speed do I have to... Uh, 80 miles? Going above 80, it doesn't really like it very much. Uh, I've got to be so careful on this as we go through the gears. And then we've got to try and get it stocked without locking everything up, which is always useful. Uh, through the... The rest of this lap, I'm pretty much got it, I think. I can drive the rest of this lap. It's the first few corners that are terrible here. Um, okay, so we're over here to sort of ease it through this corner. I, mean, I could probably be going faster. If I'm honest, whoa, but then again, we are in the middle of a thunderstorm and this thing is scary. Very scary <laughs> to drive. God, this car is terrifying. Okay, and then we've got another, this cut. This corner here would be just about flat out in the dry. I am barely on half throttle, I'm not even on that. This corner here would definitely be flat out, we'd be getting air time. Well, most sort of air time. Oh, we've lost it big time there. God, <laughs> I got aquaplaning again. And by the time I, yeah. Hmm. This is evil. This is an evil challenge, whoever said it. I like it, though. It is definitely evil, though. Come on, car. Oh, oh, a little bit sideways again. <laughs> oh, I've got to be so tentative with this throttle. There we go. That's full throttle. Briefly. And then I'm scared. And now we're not full throttle anymore. <laughs> we're on the brakes. Okay. Uh, the brakes actually seem to be doing a pretty good job of slowing the car down. Which isn't too bad. I don't have... I am going slower. Uh, <laughs> no, no. No, we're not spinning on the start-finish line. Come on, we're on to the third attempt at a lap around here. Sure. Oh, crossed the line and it was going again. Managed to back out the throttle in time, this one. Okay, slowly, slowly, stop trying to get away from me, car. You are an evil machine. Eh, look at that! I made it around the... Oh, for God's sake! <sighs> Wait, we're, good. we're still good, we're still good. Wait, we do it first. Come on, come on, come on, we can, go, we can do a lap. We haven't touched a wall yet. Alright, careful now. Yeah, a little bit, little bit weird controlling. It just, all of a sudden, it gives up on you. Here, see, I'm okay here, and then I will give it a minute amount more throttle, and then we'll be facing backwards and I can't save it. <laughs> You've constantly got to be thinking in this one. It really is absolutely no room. There's very little room to rest on this track normally. It's a pretty fast track, not particularly long. Um, but yeah, when it's like this, oh, I was, I'm, look at me, I'm full throttle, I'm getting scared though, being full throttle. Oh, what speed can we get up to? 120, Ooh, that's, that's too fast. That was too fast, <laughs> that was too fast for cover, I was waiting for that to snap an aquaplane into something. Uh, right, and then again, the rest of this lap here really isn't too bad, even this corner here that I would expect to be terrible. I mean, this is a pretty leery corner, you're, oh, it is a little bit, but I mean, you're flat out here. Through that corner, you're flat out in this car, and the back end will be trying its very best to slide on you uh, on a normal flying lap. Of course, it's going to be doing it's, it's doing that normally, so in the wet, it's still going to step out on you, but it's not quite as bad as I feared it might be. Again, I can't put much power down here, and this next one, dare we try to take it faster? No. <laughs> no, that's not very nice. I was uh, fairly sure that was about to end up in a wall somewhere. Slow that down, get that turned in. The hairpin gentle on the power don't seem to be having too yeah but actually putting power down out of the slow corners is not as terrifying as trying to turn uh, we just every time i say something's not quite as bad as i thought it might be we end up facing the wrong way right spin you round. okay next lap next lap is the one this was the forget the fact that this was supposed to be a shorter challenge it's not it's insane now behave yourself for a lap and oh, now we're having problems bloody setting off i was fine coming out of the hairpin uh, now he doesn't want to go in a straight line. Okay, into the final chicane, and then we're going to cross the line, and then we're going to do a lap without pointing backwards and get some sort of lap time out of this car. Stop sliding, please. Please stop sliding. Just briefly. That would be nice. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> stop putting the power down. What speed? We're at 86. And the minute I start putting the power down, oh, whoa, what, what's going on there? Oh, we may have brushed the wall. We're still facing the right way. I don't know what I did there to upset the car, but it was angry at me. Uh, have, you, have you finished having a tantrum now, Ford? Can we can you behave yourself through these next corners? I'm tr I, I could probably be going faster, but I'm so cautious trying not to spin this car because I want to get the clean lap. I don't want to be defeated and we're understeering. I'm going to presume there's some aquaplaning going on. Oh, again. <laughs> this is insane. This is, this is scary. I would not want to get off the dirt, get off the dirt, get off the dirt, get off the... 
Ah! We're facing the backwards again. Okay. Well, maybe we could. This is progress. We've only spun once. Uh, the, the problem is, I think those first, that first, I guess it's second corner kind of blends into the third corner if they're counted as separate ones. It's such a sort of a progressive corner. You start getting so much understeer uh, because of the aquaplaning that you end up kind of heading towards the dirt. And if you put a wheel on that, then you are definitely gone. Okay, through the chicane. Now, how brave? I mean, we've got nothing to lose. Let's be brave and see what happens. Um, we are f currently flat out. We are currently... Ooh! No, that's not good. That's definitely... <laughs> that was too brave. Um, oh, well, that was silly. I, I will be honest, that was pretty damn silly. And I probably could have done a better job of saving that if I hadn't tried to catch it a bit too quickly. Um, that was partly my fault. Well, it was all my fault for being silly, but partly my fault we had a... Well, of course it's going to be my fault. Uh, <laughs> My poor driving, I should probably say, at trying to save that made that a lot more spectacularly terrible than it actually was. Um, okay, and the brakes into the hairpin. Here we go for another lap. <sighs> oh, no, we don't want to go out there. Dirt and stuff is not nice. We really don't want to end up over there. Ooh. God, dear, that little chicane bit. It's not even a chicane. It's, you don't even think about it in the dry. There must be some standing water there the car doesn't like because that's the second time it's tried to kill me in as many laps. Right, now we're up to the final corner. Be good, okay? You can have a you can have a treat. I don't know what a treat would be for a car, but behave yourself for this lap, okay? Please. <laughs> that would be lovely. Go and all the light. I've, I'm so concentrating on getting this car around the track, I'm forgetting to enjoy the spectacular light show we are getting. Right, breaking into the first corner. There we go. Look at that. That's much better. I think actually what I was doing is when I'm driving this car normally... Oh, no, 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 no. We have gone down to 20 miles an hour, but I have saved it. I think what it is I'm doing is I'm braking and slightly steering into that first corner, which in the dry I can get away with, but when it's like this, you can't. So I've got to be so careful. See, now we're starting to get that understeer. I don't want to turn more because I don't want to cause the car to spin, but it's starting to push out a bit wider than it should be. Again, careful, careful does it. Uh, yeah, this is terrifying. Now, we might have made it, though, through this first section, if we can just be <laughs> a little bit gentle. Careful, careful, then put some power down. There we go. No, we've got a bit of planing going on. Little movements, little movements with the steering wheel. Don't do anything silly. Woohoo, we've got it up to 113. That's fast enough for me. <laughs> God dear, breaking into the chicane. We can attack the curbs, we can get away with that at the moment on here. Don't try to take this corner flat out. We saw what happened last time. So I have to be a little bit careful, a little bit gentle on the throttle. Just sort of coast perhaps a little bit through here. Don't need to do anything to try and get the back of the car stepping out. Oh, I think I locked the brakes up very slightly coming into there. But it's fine. This is a terribly slow lap. I would already cross the line. What does a time set? No, I haven't crossed the line. There's a, 40, is it a 42? I've forgotten. Um, <laughs> we, we, I would have almost been crossing the line if it would have been in the dry. But as it is, I'm coming up towards the hairpin. Careful, I don't want to get any airtime off that one because that's terrifying. Up towards the hairpin, we would have crossed the line in the dry, so yes, I'm quite a bit slower <laughs> in the wet. Not really surprising, is it? There we go. Careful, careful on the power. Where's the puddle over here that wants to kill me? I've not put power down there, so we can sort of coast through that puddle. Oh, I'm flat out again, which is a scary thing. <laughs> Come on, up towards the final corner. Get turned into the chicane, perhaps. There we go. And then don't do anything stupid as we try and come up towards the line. It is a terribly slow lap time. But, oh no, 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 no. Come on, where is the where is the start pit? Just, just, I want to finish. Yes, we're done. <laughs> it's a two minute 20. It's, what, 40 seconds a lap slower. <laughs> Admittedly, that wasn't the most spectacular of laps. Just got to be so cautious with this car. Uh, shall we have some celebratory donuts? This is what the car was wanting to do the entire... No? Really? You don't want to do celebratory donuts? There we go. Shall spit some fire. The God of Thunder shall be angry. And we are victorious! I drove a lap of a track. Uh, in a th I drove a lap of Zolder in a thunderstorm with a Ford GT40. I do love this car. Great fun to drive. I like this track as well. It's a very nice track. Um, however, that is it for today. I may have just slightly knocked my microphone off. I caught it before I hit the floor. <laughs> I need a better system for using microphone when I'm 
using a steering wheel. This is not the best. Um, however, yes, that is it for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any other... Well, this was supposed to be a mini challenge. It's taken me 20 minutes to get a clean lap around here. But if you have any other sort of uh, smaller challenges you'd like to see me try, I'm going to be releasing them as kind of like a second... Like a, a special or a second video uh, a day on random days as and when I do them. Because uh, I don't like doing sort of just short videos. It seems a little bit lazy in a way. Or oh, sometimes I like to come up with sort of more complex challenges. But this one here proved to be pretty damn tough as it was. So if you have stuff like this, let me know in the comment section or you can on our forums. I'll have a look through and uh, I will be giving them a go at some point. However, that is it for now. So until next time, <laughs> goodbye. Oh, this car is utterly crazy.